Oh. Are you gonna push it back a little? Or? Nope, we're stacking the rest of it back there. Do you have a ratchet strap? Yeah, I do. Well, I'll wait strap to the end, but the rest yeah. will fit back here, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, carry it all the way over. <laughs> if I'd have known you guys were having so much fun, I'd have got one of those big clouds back that you could have picked up and carried out. Well, um, this is the next day now after picking up the equipment. And I was working on editing the video and I realized, you know, um, there's a lot of, uh, there's some more stuff I'd like to say about that. Um, yesterday of going and getting that equipment. Um, my dad was a hard working uh, person. Uh, I would say almost like a workaholic, <laughs> kind of like me maybe. <laughs> um, but, um, so he was a tractor mechanic. This is in Ohio, north, north, kind of north central Ohio, not too far from Akron. Um, he worked for a small international dealership and he was a mechanic. I, I don't remember that, all that history, but I think he started on small uh, machinery, uh, mechanical stuff, and eventually became a tractor mechanic. And as a kid, I was so impressed. I'd go there sometimes, and these huge tractors. Of course, maybe they don't seem as big to me today, but they still were pretty big. Anyhow, these huge tractors, they might not seem so big to me today, but they were big. And he'd have them all torn apart and parts laying everywhere and, you know, <coughs> things with bolts in for certain things and on and on. But anyhow, when I went to Mint Spring Equipment yesterday, before I went in to talk to them, I kind of knew some of the stuff they had from their online presence, although they didn't give much, just a photo. And a very brief, like, two, three word description of it. Um, so, first thing I did is I walked through the yard around there with all the, the used. Of course, the fun, the new equipment had been fun to look at, too, but I, 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 that's out of my price range. There's no way I'm going to buy anything new. And the only thing I can afford is the the old stuff like I'd have used when I was a kid. And um, so I started walking through that and it brought back memories of when I was a kid, you know, anywhere from, I don't know how old, six, seven to maybe 12, 15, I mean, not quite 15, 12, 13, when, um, you know, dad would have, he needed to go down to the shop to get one of his tools or he had uh, maybe he needed to grind something and he'd use the grinder there and my brothers and I we'd go with him sometimes and I remember running around in around all that old equipment you know and getting up on the tractors and you know running around it and playing probably we probably played tag I don't know remember exactly but but it brought back memories fun memories as a childhood just going through there and so uh, that was a lot of fun and I started having some memories of plowing and disking because I'm getting a plow you know and I'm hoping to get a disc soon and you know that stuff and so so uh, those were fun memories to, to remember back on and so anyhow thank you friends. Hey, Dale here from Three Generations. How you guys doing today? 
it's a beautiful day here in the Shenandoah Valley. It's about 70 degrees and right now the sun is just trying to break out from the clouds, but there's enough clouds I don't think it's going to. So anyhow, I just got back from picking up some equipment. Um, I have bought a mystery tractor, which I'll leave up in the air. I want to do a, um, a video on just getting that tractor, picking it up, interviewing the owner of it, and uh, a little bit of history because this has a for me it's a very fun history and um, but anyhow what I got here on the truck right now I got a boom right back here I got um, a dirt bucket and I have a two bottom plow so um, I was uh, I wanted to soon start plowing our garden spaces get them going and so um, I've been watching on Craigslist and Marketplace for quite a while and I've inquired about some plows and <clears throat> yesterday <clears throat> I thought I had one. The guy kept talking me out of it because he didn't think it would work for me and finally by evening I, I decided yes this will work so I contacted him again and he had just sold it. So anyhow I would have really liked to have that plow it was at a really good price for what it was. So but on Craigslist and Marketplace, I just wasn't finding uh, what I wanted in the way of a plow. I wanted one with cauldrons. Uh, those are the discs that, that cut the, the sod first before you, before the before you get back to the to the the bottom the plow part. And um, most of them don't have most of them didn't have that feature. And um, so it is a couple hundred dollar extra expense, I guess you could say, on a used plow bottom I mean on a two bottom three point inch plow so anyhow I'll be anxious to uh, someday unload this I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that um, so if any of you guys want to come help me unload that'd be awesome um, the boom I'll be able to get out on my own uh, the, the, the dirt bucket just two strong young guys at the place lifted it in uh, but the plow is uh, very weighty a well-built heavy-duty plow so um, anyhow um, I'm really excited to get this I'm, I'm eventually here I want to get a disc I'm not sure I'm watching for discs but I can't find anything in my price range and at some point I want some kind of a mower for the tractor also so anyhow uh, thanks for watching and following and subscribing and all that good stuff and, and um, we appreciate it blessings